Welcome back to the Justice Factor. Now to our winners and losers of the week. As usual in this section, we aim to applaud politicians and individuals who've done well and name and shame those who continue to fail our people. First, our winner of the week. Dinapule lied to Parliament and lied to South Africa about her relationship with a boyfriend who benefited from tenders in her department when she was communications minister. President Zuma fired her for her misdeeds and she was made to apologize to Parliament. This year, the ANC put her back on its parliamentary list despite her disgraceful behavior. Pule, however, has decided to act with some honor and has decided to withdraw from the ANC list of her own volition. We applaud her for this. A sense of shame, a sense of understanding that one has done wrong and needs to atone is what is missing in South African politics and public life. The ANC and many other parties and leaders can learn from what Pule has done. It is how a leader should behave. And so our winner of the week is former minister Dina Pule. And now to our loser of the week. The ANC was formed in 1912. Sin since then, its leaders have liked to read. Pixley Kaisa Kaseme, one of the key founders of the ANC, got himself a law degree from Oxford University way back in 1908. Then you think of Tawon Beki, Nelson Mandela, O.R. Tambo, and the many other ANC leaders who, who like to pick up a book and read. We were shocked last week when the ANC chief Whipstone Sizani held a press conference at which he lambasted the public protector over her reporting to Ngandla. The man made all sorts of allegations about Tuluma Donsela and then admitted that he had not read the report at all. He called her report that bulky thing. What? Is this guy for real? He issued a 1,200-word press release on the Ganja report without even reading it. The ANC really needs to think about what kind of leaders it is sending to parliament. We have to ask whether Sizani didn't read the report or just can read. And so our loser of the week is ANC chief with Stone Sizani. What a loser. And with that, we come to the end of our show. Email us on justicefactor at enca.com. Tweet us on at Justice Malala. And follow us on Facebook. Do join us next week for more news, views, and debates. My name is Justice Malala. Have a fantastic week. ENCA.com.